Everyone, welcome back to another edition of What's in My Insurance Policy. It's Friday afternoon, hope everyone had a great week, has a great weekend planned, whether it's doing something exciting or just relaxing, whatever, whatever tickles your fancy there. Today, I wanna to talk about extra expense. Extra expense is found in your property policy and it's often overlooked, um, mainly because it's lumped in with business income but they can be different coverages and different limits. And that's why it's very important to be aware of it and understand how your policy works. So extra expense is the additional cost you incur to continue operating your business, your business after a loss. So let's use an example. Let's say you're a, 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 a service organization, an insurance broker. Your, your primary office space suffers a loss, there's a fire. You need to relocate for six months. Your new rent is $10,000 more a month because it's a short-term lease. The extra, that's what the extra expense co would cover. It would cover the delta between your normal rent and the additional cost to rent the, the space on a short-term lease. So it would cover that $10,000. Um, it can take a lot of different forms. You know, if you're a manufacturer and, you're, and one of your suppliers goes down and you have to shift to a, to a more expensive supplier in the short term, it could cover that delta as well. So why it's often overlooked is because we're always thinking about business income. And extra expense isn't always included in your business income limit. Or if it is, you may not, um, you may not have calculated it in there. Um, I'll give you a great example of, of, a, of, of a loss that one of my clients had. This was Hurricane Sandy. They were in New York City. They're, they were in a high rise, I forget the exact location, they're down in the, down on Wall Street. The building was flooded, the basement, so they couldn't get in or out. They had all these backup servers, so they had to do all sorts of stuff. It cost them about a million, million dollars, maybe 1.2 million. And all of it was, they were, continue, they were able to continue operations because they had backup locations, but they had to have an additional backup server all the time per their, per their contractual requirements. So even though they had no business income loss, you know, the revenue continued to pour in. They had a, an additional expense to get those backup servers in place um, per their con contractual requirements. And that was all extra expense. Now, after that loss, what the insurance company tried to do was limit the extra expense to $25,000, which was essentially nothing for them. Um, they separated, they didn't tell us, they, 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 they changed the form a little bit, <clears throat> fortunately we were on top of it, um, but you can see how extra expense can be, especially in this day and age where we're more service oriented, we outsource more, and you know, short term hiccups, no, won't necessarily put us out of business, but they'll just in rot, they'll, they'll increase our expense line. And that's really what the extra expense is there for. If you have a loss and your expenses increase because of that loss in the short term, that's what it's there for. I hope this helps. Um, pay attention. Business income and extra expense are key coverages. It's where we see a ton of losses. They get very complicated to, to adjust. Um, so it's important to have it buttoned down beforehand so it doesn't drag out, go into litigation, God forbid, and, 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 and you don't get paid. Again, have a great weekend. Um, if you're in the Mid-Atlantic Northeast, hopefully, you know, we, we, we stay uh, snow free or as little snow as you want. Um, at least that's my personal opinion. See you next week.